<laughs> uh, Melissa Tapper, Corfield Grammar, 2008. Had to remember that. <laughs> I am currently a table tennis athlete and probably the most significant achievement to date would be winning a silver medal at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics, but also probably as well, the 2018 Commonwealth Games gold medal that I won there. Um, yeah, I think I hold them too as my equal um, greatest. My most fondest sporting school memory would have been playing a part of the basketball team uh, with my fellow girlfriends there. I remember I loved turning up to training every week and then playing the matches on the weekend with them. Um, I'm very used as a table tennis player being part of an individual sport, but playing basketball as a team at Caulfield uh, was definitely my favorite. Uh, my most fiercest opponent, uh, I think internationally through table tennis, I always have a great rivalry with um, my competitor from Brazil. Uh, she can get pretty fiery on the court, so it's always a good challenge for me. I think something that people generally don't realize about table tennis is just how many elements it does involve and how incredibly difficult it is. Um, just briefly, I would describe it as requiring the speed of a 100 meter sprinter, the poise of a golfer and the mentality of a chess player. So put all those things together, it requires a lot of skill, but it's also incredibly awesome and fun. A lesson that I did learn through school sport is the importance of enjoying the moment. Um, definitely through the time in playing for the basketball team. Uh, it was, I, I was at Caulfield for three years and every time I got to step on the court, I enjoyed every moment. And that is something I have carried through into my table tennis as well. But also it's something that's really important in general day-to-day -day life is making sure that you enjoy the moment that you're in. The biggest leaders that have influenced me throughout my career, I would have to say come more from friends and family. I look, I look up to a lot of people around me and it can be from people that I meet on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I think those are the people that I can always learn something from, from the most, rather than, for example, on TV and magazines where you don't have like real access to them. So for me, one of my biggest influences was actually my older sister who I, I moved to Melbourne to live with to continue going to school and enabling me to keep practicing. I like to stay away from superstitions. Uh, I think they can get a little bit um, OCD like with athletes. So for me, I have my process though that I like to follow when I'm competing and training and they're small things that I can control, but I definitely don't have a favorite pair of underwear or have to have my bottle sitting in a certain position every time I play. <laughs> I definitely had a favorite teammate um, and that was Tina Papagiorgi. Yeah, I loved growing up with Tina and we always had a lot of fun. The advice I would give to a current student athlete is to understand that it is definitely a privilege to play sport. So every opportunity that you get, make sure you enjoy it, work hard and at the end of the day, the accountability is on you if you want to improve. And if you don't, that's also your choice, but make sure whatever you do, it's something that you enjoy. And um, if you put in consistent work, the success will come. <laughs>